you absolutely have to come check this out. Quite often when you come here, there'll be someone who'll give you one of the red dots. They look like dinosaur fencing. I reckon they've got dinosaurs here. That is so crystal clear. It really is. Stop and get the fried noodles. Of course, you're going to start at Flak Market with the food. Come and get your breakfast here. Don't eat at a fancy hotel. No, eat there and then come get the snacks here. Because they make the best biryanis, noodles, and they have a thing called tea puri. Awesome Flak Market, one of the few places you can still get tea puri. Oh, it's pretty cool. These guys are actually on a food tour here at Flak Market. Briani house as the biggest Briani. That is massive. Best Briani. Uh -huh. I remember last year. Like yeah, they were finished. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of Briani. Cool, man, guys. Nice to meet you. Go, go, go. <laughs> cool. These look amazing. So, lots of different fillings that you can get on your noodles. Yeah, we're well, not Boiled or... Boiled fried. or fried noodle. Yeah. They even have a huge chicken kebab, so you can actually get kebab here as well. Oh, wow, that's Chicken, probably. Oh, wow. If you haven't tried Mauritian street food, this is where you start, because they have everything you need from dolperis. This guy's got his traditional dolperis, mm. with all the vegetarian fillings. Mm. Rotis and bhaji. Gato pima. We've got chana puri. This one has the chili in it, yeah, and this has spicy. natural. So here's the chutney. It's a yeah, chili chutney. Chili, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. That's it. Whoa. Just like chuck your stuff into the bag, chuck in the chili, twist it up, and away you go. <laughs> so just natural. natural. Mm. Is it good? Are they hot? Or are they yeah, hot. <laughs> awesome? Well, just preparing this garlic sauce and uh, so that's a ghetto pimo. Oh, you know about ghetto pimo? Yeah. Of course, I get to try the chili one with the extra sauce on it. You didn't actually have the chili on that one. <laughs> Aluda is great if you find the chili too hot. Mm -hmm. Chana And he says, this, Oh wow, look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. Gorgeous. So is yours. Ricky's favorite bread. Is it a goodie? Oh wow, looks like they have a lot of Diwali sweets here, but of course the only thing I'm interested in is Pia. All oh, those red things, I can't remember what they're called. Oh that's Gulab Jamun, these are Jalebi. <laughs> Jalebi and Gulab Jamun. But you've got to get um, Saltafine if Ian's never tasted it. If you've never had Saltafine you're going to have to get one of those as well. It's so red, the thing won't focus properly. It's Jalebi. It's Jalebi. Is it any good? Pure sugar. It's really good, it's like cooking, but it's like a, a cook sister, yeah. Okay, awesome. This is Helene. So, when you're coming to Mauritius, you have to, have to, have to, absolutely have to come and visit a market. Black Market is one of your better ones. It's pretty easy to navigate. And you've got this whole vegetable section and food. Oh, cutting up the jackfruit. Cook, cook it. Cook and eat. My food, my food. <laughs> wow. Quack, quack, quack. Squirt, squirt it. This isn't a weekend or anything. This is just a Wednesday. And oh, there's just so many people. Coming to the flat market is great because it has everything you need from vegetables to clothes to food. So it's the trifecta of markets, the best market. So yeah, this is a great day trip and if you're coming from Belmar, this is going to be your first stop. So your taxi driver is going to bring you here to flat market to start this adventure. So because flat market is set up for tourists, uh, you are going to find some souvenir items. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen this. I'm not even sure what it is. Black Market is really, really big. But the smells and sights are absolutely amazing. I'm smelling like spices and fresh coriander and chilies and fruits and all sorts. It's such an awesome adventure. It does get quite busy. <laughs> so you are going to have to push your way through sometimes. It's cool, these shirts are only 200 here at the market. 
Yeah. So stock up. Yen is. <laughs> Happy market shopper. And this is why you've got to come and do these things. So what market's all about? I mean, oh, the, the shirts are that cheap. He's buying tons. Yeah, yeah, because it's what a great souvenir from your mm -hmm. holiday. Yeah, exactly, and I say it's Mauritius. It actually says Mauritius. Uh -huh. It's a dodo. Uh -huh. Of course, because you got it. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. And it's a great like quality color, shirt. Yeah. Oh, oh. Why so angry? Hmm? <laughs> Man, it's just so much stuff. So mm -hmm. much stuff. <laughs> you can't come to Flack Market without getting bullet. Come have a look, come have a look. <laughs> you got the lamb and the shoo shoo. What's the, the white one? The shoo shoo legging. And then the fish ones. Ooh. One of these. Tofu, tofu. One tofu. Small tofu. Small tofu. <laughs> Small tofu. <laughs> okay, five. So you get five and then she takes the soup out of here. <laughs> Ooh. And vinegar. Pepper. Thank you so much. Beautiful green chili, a red chili, and the garlic oil. It's absolutely lovely. You've never actually seen one of those, right? Yeah, it's like a, a shoo shoo ball, like one of these, right? But it's got like a, um, a dumpling wrapper around it. It's a great revitalizer. With the river right next to you. Hot. <laughs> she can also do you some noodles with the bullets on top. That looks amazing. It looks so good. If you can eat chili, you have to try the Mauritian green chili. Absolutely have to try it. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't mean to quite pour that much into my spoon. It has a burn. It has a... <laughs> okay, time to go get some Luda, everyone. So you guys can see he's put the red in. I can't remember what flavor it is. But in with the milk. Red one is strawberry. Strawberry. This is an awesome milky drink, and you know what? From these guys, it's only 25 rupees. Mm -hmm. My mouth is still burning. Why didn't I get to go first? <laughs> oh man, Ian's got nuts. <laughs> Just kidding, he has nuts. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, you. Good, thank you. And if you come at the right time, when he's cooking these, you can actually get them, you can help cook them. And that's special Mauritian beach sand, that's why the nuts taste so good. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome to Truck Market. You're probably not going to need it on your holiday, but yeah, you can get your tools here as well. <laughs> right, so visit market. Check. Knock that one off your bucket list. Definitely something you have to do in Mauritius. You have to do the market, have to. But let's go to the next spot. A hop, skip and a jump from Black Market. We come to our second destination. And as you come around the corner, uh-huh, look at that. Island of Chinese guavas. Yeah. And more importantly, the temple. So you've got to come visit a temple. And this wow. is one of the finest. This is cool. Uh -huh. The must do in Mauritius is definitely to visit a temple. And this one is actually on an island. When the tide gets high, it actually runs over the bridge and it makes it back into an island again. Hot, hot. Very, very hot. Remember it does say, remove your shoes, so remove your shoes. The little bird is in the tree at the moment, wondering what you guys are doing. Oh wow, it actually worked. There's a little bird eating, stealing the banana. Quite often when you come here, there'll be someone who'll give you one of the red dots. Uh, no one here at the moment today. You are allowed to go inside. This temple on Chinese Guava Island is named because the first Chinese guava tree was planted here. Does say welcome open and this is where you'd make an offering or ring the bell you break a coconut and then the liquid runs down there onto the shivling and you say a prayer or you take a selfie <laughs> and then onwards to our next amazing destination on this day trip we head yeah. into the forest right our own visitor center something you absolutely have to do if you're in mauritius so brother used to be a thriving sugar mill 
and this is the the ruins which we'll show you through and a wonderful visitor center as well as a lovely forest so we can't go in but i got my extender and how far i can get i'm <laughs> not even close oh wow but no. why do they have basements what was in the basement what did they keep in a basement of a sugar mill all the naughty children no came idea. to steal the sugar cane <laughs> maybe maybe beautiful plants So there's a great visitor centre and they tell you a lot about this area and the history and things that are endemic to Mauritius and the loss of forests and everything. Yeah, where the forest used to be all over Mauritius. Mm -hmm. What is great about coming to Brada O, you've got the trees and the walks and if you want to do some hiking, you do some hiking. But it's probably one of the few places you're actually going to see an old sugar mill. And this one is, is quite broken down, but it is from the 1700s, so don't expect too much from it. But she is standing. Oh man, epic. It was lava flow. And the lava flow came over as a thin layer and the guys used to come with the pickaxes and dig a hole to plant the sugar cane because there was great soil below, but the lava on top. Changed the landscape. And there are giant tortoises here, munching away at their grass. Behind a fence though. Well, there's the map. This is where we are right here. And as you can see, there's a radio telescope just up there. But between the two, literally just down that road 100 meters, is the old train tracks. And you can actually still see the train tracks there. So then for all you hikers, you can hike for kilometers if you wish. The pedestrian crossing <laughs> is all the way down there. Miles away. We're going to try to hop over the fence. Ricky couldn't step over the fence. Yeah, absolutely beautiful peace and quiet with birdsong, beautiful pathways, rest areas, you're allowed to bring a picnic. Yeah, Ricky just pointed out, this is the, where the old labor camp used to be, the guys used to live here. So this is sort of what the trails would look like if you were going to go for a walk. Uh, rocks and roots and it is quite wild. This is a pretty cool building because it's square right on the outside. It's a French well. This is the French well. But this is the odd thing, it's round. Oh, yeah. It's square on the outside and round on the inside. Uh-huh, fun ladder all the way down to the bottom of the well. So the French well, square on the outside, round in the middle. I wonder if that means anything. <laughs> what do you think so far of this East Coast day trip? Temples, forests, market, and there's still more, there's still more to come. So if you're enjoying it, hit the subscribe button and you'll see more awesome stuff like this. <laughs> it does look really cool under there and you're in the shade and it's got this roof, which is why Ricky will never go there because you're so worried about spiders. Ah, uh, and she has a right to be. <laughs> wow. Oh, and my bad. I haven't been updating you guys, but there are great toilets at Brada O and the toilets at the Flat Market. Oh, not as great. Not as great, but there are toilets there. There are toilets. Both places. Bring your own toilet paper. So this was at a low frequency. Normally this one are you for low frequency, so when you see far end of the fire, uh, very big uh, wavelength. Okay. Infrared, we have uh, gamma ray, x-ray. Uh, Another thing you have to do, or you don't have to, but this is the radio, Mauritius radio telescope. Yeah. And I've got Albert here and he's, he's actually getting his PhD for building these things that look at the sun or something. Those ones, those ones, the prototypes. Those ones, the prototypes for the square array. What's it called there? So uh, this is a prototype for square kilometer array in Africa. And uh, Mauritius being part of this project, we are here building our prototype. So if you are interested in radio telescopes, come here, they'll explain it all to you. They explain so much stuff to me. I know everything about radio waves and this gamma rays and, and the reason we can still see the sun that the clouds are up. It's actually quite fascinating. You can come here in the evening and you have the opportunity to look at the craters on the moon, the Jupiter out. If you are lucky to see most of the planet out, you, you need, need to, to book it for the night time. Yeah. Stay tuned to our page. We'll let you know when they're open. So, 
we look around we say what is possible that is wow what an amazing experience and meeting albert and this team that's doing all this work here so sometimes even though you've got a little mission of a day trip feel free to go out of your way and follow a road and see where it leads have a look at this it it it's, turns out it's not dinosaur fencing no. it's actually the array the t array that was built in 92 Mauritius but, telescope the Mauritius telescope and it did something really important in the Cambridge study. So if you've been driving through this area and you see this fence and wonder is this to keep out rhinos or dinosaurs? It's not. It's actually to do with the radio telescope. How cool is that? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm waiting for it. Wait for it. It's still waiting. It's still waiting. <laughs> <gasps> it's the day of the trip, and it's a trip, and it's coming to get us. <laughs> oh man. Wind power in Mauritius. East Coast. So they work. <laughs> it also has an, an information board here, and it says 10,000 Mauritius people get the electricity from up there. As you leave, brother, uh, and this is an additional to your adventure if you want to do it, and you really should. This is Roche Noir, and first up, a snack shop where they have some fried chicken. You gotta try Mauritian local fried chicken. But they really look good, they've got a good battering on them. And uh, he said red or homemade, so I said homemade of course, now I'm scared. Because the <laughs> smile on his face is like, oh this is gonna be hot. <laughs> and there's a place to sit and eat, some chairs. Homemade, traditional, oh, oh man look at that. Look at this batter, it's like crispy. It's better than, it's better than KFC. Mm. Oh, look at that, it just fell off the bone. Oh, wow. Anup said it's better than KFC, and he was right, according to Ricky. Mm -hmm. now, now, let's see if his chili's any good. You confirm it. Yeah. Main road, Roche Noir. This guy's chicken is so crispy and yummy and absolutely tender. I love the batter on it. Yeah. And it just falls apart in your mouth. Super, super good. I'm getting some more. I'm tempted to. I think we have to get some mm -hmm. more for her take home. What do you think, Ian? Absolutely. Can't yeah, live I've without that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> how many pieces has he got? <laughs> Man, seriously, I cannot tell you how good the chicken is from this place. We got another 10 pieces, another 10 pieces of chicken wings for 250 rupees. It's worth, it's worth coming all the way from wherever you are. Just to I think chicken. you need to come and do it. If you're not coming for the chicken, and I don't know why you aren't, but you really should. But if you're not coming for it, it's just down there. You just come down the road a little bit. This is what you really come to Rosh Noir for. The caves. They're actually lava tubes. This is the cave, Madame, Mauritius. Really nice. Tons of parking. Proper bin here. So cans, plastic, salt, and aver. I have paper. So this one. Oh, it looks like stairs. Yeah, civilized cave. It's an actual cave! Yeah, it's awesome, and it's one of the first documented caves in Mauritius. Really? Yeah, those, those 1820s bloggers used to love coming past here, drawing pictures of it like since the 1700s. But you can go all the way down into it with stairs! That is awesome! Well, this is the cave. Um, it's full of water, but really clear water. Oh, crystal, crystal clear. And it doesn't even look like water in the camera. Is that a lava tube? So this is as far as you can go. Go to the other side. It looks deeper on the other side. No, no, it's shallower that way. Ah, okay. It's actually deeper this way. But that it's is... so crystal clear. Wait, do you want to film it? And I want to pretend to be taken. Okay. Okay. Are you filming? Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait, Brian, there's something here. Look, Adrian, it's coming towards you. Go, go, it's going faster. Go. Oh, boys. Hey, man, you okay? Hello? Hello? I can't find the urn, Rick. More chicken for us. Was that cool? Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> do not swim. Poison. It is a nice thing to do. I mean, just to go down into the cave. It this... is. It's something totally, totally different in Mauritius. And bring a torch because that water is so clear. Oh yeah, the stairs are not bad at all. Here they're quite shallow, they get a bit deeper, but I can manage them easily. I wouldn't trust Google, really I wouldn't. She just led us all over the place. <laughs> and we're still not sure if we're in the right place, but this is a health track. 
It used to be the old railway. The train used to come through here, all the way from Rivier to Rampart, which is miles that way. But you can probably run there. Yeah, but, but there's... This is the worst part of Rivier de Rampart track. Well, there you go. So you can go all the way there. But we're here for a different reason. What do you say, Rick? Feeling healthy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, health pass will do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. How far does this go? Well, we've come to Roche Noir Cave Trails. There's one there. There's one over there. It looks like there's a building next to that one. And there's one over there. I'm going to go to that one. Ian's going to that one. And we're sending Ricky to the furthest one because that's what she does. <laughs> Isn't that right, Rick? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, swallows are flying in. We've got swallows that live in this cave. And I think um, it's the, actually a, the, it's an endemic Mauritian swallow. Look how small their little nests are. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so this is my side of the cave. It goes down this... Oh, wow, look at that. It goes down quite far. Wow, it's like a big cavern here. Still no bats. And it looks like... I'm going under that, that cycle track. And I can pop up on this side. Haha, <laughs> awesome. It genuinely looks like there's light at the end of this tunnel. Don't follow the light at the end of the tunnel. I can see it, Rick. <laughs> Don't follow it! Come back! Look at this! You actually come out in a different area and it's got stairs coming out of the cave. Yeah. Oh, and the other people here! <laughs> awesome! Where did you come from? <laughs> I don't know where that one goes. It goes Brian forward. went in that direction. Did you meet Brian? Where did he, where did he go? He went that way. Where's he? <laughs> yeah, he went that way. Ah, there's more people coming with torches. Wow, this is so cool. I guess they're all interlinked. I didn't know that. So there's more caves. And so you can just... Now oh, this is... Wow, this is a big cave. Look at that. This is cool. Wow. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Like you go in the one and you end up linking it back up with another one. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's like I showed you. It's not that bad to walk. There are just a few patches where you probably need your cell phone torch or maybe a, an actual torch. But it was pretty cool. But wow, yeah, great day. So many different things, so much diversity. And you could have also yeah. stopped and like gone for a nice hike and stuff. No, and no, no. tons of things you could have done. Such a different day out in Mauritius, not just sitting at a beach. Yeah. Oh, you won't believe this, but on this rock is actually a Mauritian gecko. An actual indigenous Mauritian one. And there it goes. And this is how we lost Ian. <laughs> <laughs> wow, those caves were a lot more fun than I thought they would be. Mm -hmm. And you go in and out and, oh man, what a great time. Definitely worth a visit. Noodle place, but she's run out of noodles, so she's just going down the road to buy some noodles so she can make us some noodles. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So we're alone in the shop. So here we go with the egg. Oh, with the. <laughs> and this is our chef. Huh? <laughs> Oh, yeah. And with the veggies. Carrots, chili, soup. Let's do carrots. Poulet. Poulet, that's chicken. That's the one I do understand. Ah, one. Voilà. Finish. Finish. Mom, I did two. Oh, it smells so nice with the egg. Yeah. And now in with the noodle. Fresh noodle. Made in Riviera de Rampart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big load of noodles. Oh, she's putting some sauce in. Poisson. Poisson. Fish sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Soy sauce. Oh yeah, lots of soy sauce. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, those look so good and smell so good. And then the rest of the veggies right on top. <laughs> Little more soy sauce. It looks so good and smells so good, guys. This is a must in Mauritius. 
Here we go, just a little bit into a bowl. Yeah. She gave me a little bowl to try. Mmm. Because she made us so much, we're going to get it for takeaway. So she's going to put in a takeaway for us. Because I thought we were just eating it, yeah, but it's too much. It's too much, guys. Brought out the sampler for Rick. So she can have a little... Because she loves fried noodles. Mm -hmm. And these are particularly good ones. Mm. Oh, wow. What's really great is this, the noodles are quite fine. It's absolutely delicious. It's put loads of vegetables. <laughs> I just clear my mouth. <laughs> no time, you're vlogging now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I was filming all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm still filming. filming. Right. When you do this trip, stop and get the fried noodles. Yeah. That's worth it. But do you like we did get the container because you're not going to finish it? No, she's piled so much into that one serving. It weighs about a kg and we got two of them. And it's got such a lovely mm. smoky flavor and she mm. put so much vegetable and chicken. Mm -hmm. Really, really good noodles. Super snack. She does actually do all these amazing things. And on a Saturday, she has Briani Poulet. Hey guys, she also does this amazing looking veg tali. And this thing, which I think is like a chickpea, looks really, really cool. Yeah. Check this place out. Wow, you really gotta love Mauritian hospitality. She went and got some noodles so she could make us the most amazing fried noodles and then brought us some Diwali snacks. That was pretty cool of her. So cool. It just yeah. warms your heart. Uh -huh. Makes the whole day. <laughs> wow, what a great day trip to the East. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time.